If you are suffering this allergy season, you are not alone. Doctors say it's the worst allergy season in years for a lot of the country, and climate change may be a driving factor. Experts say pollen seasons are starting earlier and lasting longer, and that rising carbon dioxide can boost the growth of trees and grasses, leading to higher pollen concentrations. ABC News medical contributor, emergency physician Dr. Darian Sutton joins me now for more on this. Dr. Sutton, I am definitely one of the many affected here. I've never had allergies like this before. So can you explain a little bit more about what's happening and save us here? Many people are sharing your sentiment, uh, especially, for example, here in California. In certain states, the heavy rain has brought more vegetation, which therefore leads to more pollen. So the allergy season, we're right in the middle of it. It's typically the middle of April towards the end of May. So we've got a few more weeks. And the most common symptom or most common allergen is tree pollen, as it's uh, unfortunately common, obviously, everywhere, as well as ragweed. And then our pets are shedding, so pet dander. And then the environment is getting warmer and drier. So, of course, there's more dust outside. All of these reasons are leading to that stuffy nose, that itchy eye, uh, itchy eyes, and th those annoying dry coughs that people persistently have and seem to never go away. I mean, I have a lozenge in right now, and that's kind of become the norm as of late. How do we know when it's allergies, and how do you know when it's a cold or something else more serious? So first and foremost, allergies can develop for anyone at any age. Uh, sometimes I have patients who come in with their first experience with allergies and I have to remind them that that's just sometimes typical. Uh, the symptoms of allergies include the very common ones, uh, itchy eyes, a stuffy nose, and dry cough. If that is associated with fever, body aches, or even flu-like illness, then of course that's when you want to get checked out and making sure that it's nothing else. Unfortunately, I'm still diagnosing COVID positives into spring. As, as we all know, the pandemic is still present. Uh, and then if you have symptoms that are persistent, despite taking those over-the-counter medications, you can talk to a provider to try to get additional medications that might be prescriptive that can help you a little bit better. All right. So in terms of the allergy part of the equation, what can we do about it? Uh, so there's some basic things that we all can do. First and foremost, know your triggers and check the pollen counts outside. Uh, many people don't know about this, but you can subscribe and apply to the National Allergy Bureau and you can get regular updates. Also, just understand what specifically you're allergic to so that you can understand when you should and should not go outside. If you have severe allergies, rainy days are your friends, uh, be, mainly because the pollen is damp and brought to the ground. Windy days are your enemy. Uh, pollen counts are the highest in the morning. And then when you get home, change Changing your clothes, taking a shower, and then doing a nasal wash with clean water at the end of the day can help to decrease that stuffy nose so that you get better quality sleep. All right, great tips. Dr. Zutton, always great to have you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.